our venue seven dollar entry uh definitely make sure to come by that being said we're gonna go right into it um Alright, and yeah, as we were kind of expected, the Lucario's coming out for this game. Uh, and it sounds obvious, but I feel like it's going to be so important of how is Mojo killing. It's going to be really big in this matchup. Yeah, you don't want Lucario living that long for sure. But uh, BB's showing that he has good low percent combos with the uh, low aura Lucario as well. Like, already got Greninja to 65 is no small feat when your aerials are doing like 4% apiece or whatever. Uh, yeah, exactly. And also, mm -hmm. Lucario with Aura, I mean, obviously, kill power, crazy, but I think the Aura Sphere being bigger is also going to be really nice at kind of stuffing out Greninja's jumps and landing. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Oh, wow. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, BB just, uh, kind of just... After that initial 90% he dealt to, to Mojo, it just uh, slowed it down a lot. Realized that, like, because Lucario can't really kill when he has low aura, you know? So at this point, you're kind of just, like, making sure, like, he overcommisses something and maybe you can get something at the ledge. Until you reach, like, these higher percents where now suddenly uh, a lot more of your moves become threatening options. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wait, down to up smash? Oof. That up B on the extreme speed could be a really dangerous interaction as this set plays out, because uh, we might see some really wonky angles get used. Yeah, and I feel like Lucario can absolutely fly. Right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, SPT. <laughs> yeah, shout out to SPT and... Okay. Oh, the rock away. He's so patient. <laughs> and, and these percent ranges is, is really where the game's gonna be decided. You know, like you can get your early strings, but right here, who it's this is where all the momentum for the rest of the game can be set. And right there, you mentioned how the aura sphere being bigger would be a big help in catching landings. Also for hitting the ledge. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. <laughs> Uh, we didn't see an up that time. I was going to say, how is BB going to find a way to recover this time? But, uh, gets away pretty easily. And there's a forward air. All right. The bomb has been defused for the stock. Yeah, for yeah. Sure, yeah. <laughs> The thing is, you got to defuse it two more times. Exactly, you know? yeah. <laughs> it's not over yet. It almost feels like these like early percent strings like don't matter too much unless VV can like find an F smash with low aura, you know? So I feel like mm -hmm. Greninja is gonna be able to get this back. Like so much of the game feels like kind of just like and meaningless. Yeah, yeah, meaningless. And then they're both at a hundred, and now the game like starts, mm -hmm. you know? But maybe VV, VV can't get those F smashes, you know? VV kind of thrive in an environment like that though. Like yeah. he's, he's played his character for like so many years and throughout many games. Uh, so. It is not a scenario he'd be uh, unfamiliar with at all. I think it's more important to see how Mojo can uh, get around this. Oh, <laughs> the Walkling mix-up is pretty cute, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, wow, nice. Oh, Phoebe, uh hitting these wake-up options pretty fast, yeah. But honestly, now... 120 on Mojo and 72 Aura. That's enough Aura to kill. Like, oh, absolutely. For yeah. Sure. Like, this, you gotta be careful. This could be a really quick swing in Vivi's way for the rest of this game. And again, we're getting to that percent where Greninja's gonna also be able to find kills in Lucario, so. Yeah, with this rage, definitely now, I feel like down tilt up smash is on the table. Oh, wow. What a pivot crab. I yanked you from so far away. Another grab. Uh, VB's been shielding a lot more uh, at late percentages. It's kind of weird considering. Oh, that's that's those buffs coming <laughs> as in. As I say it, yeah, like just running in with that dash attack, running it down. And now 20% the Nora Sphere. <laughs> that's scary. Mm -hmm. That's. Oh, oh man, no. yeah, everything is just a kill move now. <laughs> He has to defuse the bomb again. <laughs> like you're saying, it's not getting defused right now. Yeah, now you are already at death percent. Uh. Yeah, yeah, honestly, he's at more risk of dying than VV, despite you know a 20% difference. Mm -hmm. And 
this just keeps adding up. But at the same time, getting the stock now would be pretty good, considering that is low percent aura Lucario. What in God's name was that hitbox? Yeah, yeah, that was. What was that hitbox? Was, was, was Mojo Can we do that maybe, again real quick? Yeah, was Mojo yeah. doing a move that might have extended his hitbox? Or that something? was that, wild. That looked wonky. Good movement into it, though, from the movie, for sure. <laughs> oh, yeah. I wonder. Did he? Yeah, hold on. I wonder if Greninja's back air, like, put put his, like, little frog hand forward or something. Yeah, he's, like... Yeah, but that's... Oh, there yeah. it is. Yeah, the back air might have done it. Yeah. 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 Oh, no. Look at his little, little oh, frog hand. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe. Still, that's a that's a fat no, hitbox. No, still, definitely. Yeah, maybe the tongue... Is the tongue a hurtbox? I don't know if the tongue's no, a hurtbox. No, I don't think... I, I'm pretty sure... I'm, like, almost positive the tongue is not a hurtbox. Yeah. Yeah. Shoutouts to VD for the match here. Shout out to Pro Tom. Thank, thank you for the subscription. <laughs> Miss you, dude. Alright, and the quintessential F uh, Greninja counterfeit coming out in FD. Though Lucario is not uncomfortable in the stage at all either. VV uh, seems to pick it a decent amount. Yeah, definitely. I feel like Lucario. Honestly, like with a lead is favorite on the FD because I feel like then it's like Greninja needs to. Then how do you deal with Horror Sphere when you have a yeah. lead on FD? You know, you don't have the platforms to move around it. Mm -hmm. So I, I think honestly, Mojo needs to be really on point with his strings if he wants to win this because otherwise, it's just going to be VV is going to be able to clutch it out way more often than not if Mojo's not doing some forms like burst. Once again, Vivi just like really adept at comboing his opponent with low percent Lucario, getting them to like a hundred, and then like now it's like, what do you do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, I, th I think he realizes that people aren't respecting low percent Lucario, and like so he can get a lot that. of easy damage. Yeah. yeah, and that makes his life a little easier when he gets to those high percents. Only needs like one move instead of like three or four, you know? Yeah, and honestly, right now a good back air can close it. Oh, here come the Aura Spears. Yeah, Lucario's less trapping is so dangerous at high perc uh, higher percents. Oh, oh wow, yeah. <laughs> and we, we haven't seen We that didn't yet. see that yeah. yet this set, yeah, so uh, I don't think he was ready for that at all. That side B grabs pretty quick too. Up air. Didn't get the drag down. I think that's a mighty. That might have been what he wanted. Yeah, and, and stuff like that's gonna be so crucial. You know, like I, I think the big a big reason Mojo is just down is because Vivi's combo game is way more on point than his right now. Mm -hmm. like, you need, you can't afford to not get the most damage. You can't possible. be dropping against the car. Yeah, yeah. Oh, they're 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 missing a lot of moves, but that back here is gonna gonna connect. And I like that backer because I mean I feel like when Mojo's been at that height, you know, he's felt totally comfortable. You know, yeah. VV hasn't gone up there and contested him much at the Greninja's like apex of his full hop, but now knew. we're three to one. Yeah, yeah. and that, that, the saving grace here is that when Lucario's up two stocks, he's still a lot weaker, even if he's at hundred uh, percent. he's not quite as threatening, but at the same time you still don't want to get hit because like you're just taking extra damage. Yeah, and, honest, and even with like minus two aura, there's still some solid. Percent. Yeah, he can still kill for sure. Oh man, yeah, using Damn. the bounce to recover to yeah. the ledge. Those wall bounce recoveries have been clean. Mhm. Mm it makes his, even though it didn't really, it wouldn't really come up like right there. Uh, it makes his two frame hurt box a lot better. So yeah, being able to snap with that is an important Lucario skill. Oh, all right. Finally getting the down tilt forward air, but is it too little too late? Uh, we got 99% already, and that's adding up quickly. I, I will say it is too little too late, unless Mojo greatly changes his combo game, because like at, as of late, he has not been doing good, any yeah. like, big bursts The momentum damage. has just not been on his side at all, but as I say that, we're starting to get something going. 56%. Uh, yeah. I thought he was going to try doing a side B, but oh, I think he was aware man. that. I think he was just a little bit too far to get the head bonk Yeah, there. I think he's he's so used to like a bit more aura on his recovery. Yeah. But it was actually a little short, and that's such a rare Lucario SD. Like, <laughs> okay, and let's see. I mean, that was a bit <gasps> of a miracle. Oh, wow. I thought that their side B was yeah. for sure, but and then I saw him dash back, and Greninja rolled, but then uh, Mojo didn't get punished for it.
Oh, and Mojo's like been reading these rolls a lot and then just doesn't press a button. And I feel like it's a lack of confidence. Yeah. Okay, this okay, is huge. Wait. Uh, oh, okay. All right. Those ragdowns, though, but good juggle state. Oh, man. And just suddenly, this has uh, become a much closer game, and there's a side B, and not even a chance you're living that. Yeah. He stuff. was not on the screen for a frame. <laughs> he yeah. He literally evaporated. He despawned yeah. like, instantly. <laughs> like, look at this. Yeah. And there's the downer side B I was talking about being scared for earlier. Uh, realizing that uh, if you didn't do it last time, pro Mojo probably wasn't as scared of it this time, and then suddenly VV was like, I got you. <laughs> And we're gonna have Tilde VV up next after this. I feel like that's normally like a Xeno Grands right there. Yeah, you could definitely see that here, but uh, it seems that this is, yeah, Azuja Semi is top four. I can expect that, yeah. I think we got, we have a uh, yeah, especially Genet winners finals and D Dog and losers finals. Yeah, yeah. Right? I feel yeah. like a good amount of people came out today, so. Mm -hmm. Pretty stacked Xeno, you know, yeah. A bit fiercer, yeah. I mean, we didn't even see numbers in this top six right here. Mm hmm. I mean, numbers sometimes has those days, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, even though he's like a very consistent high placer, I think he's also one of the more prone ones to upsets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. As <laughs> I feel like, especially like no shade, characters of like Greninja, <laughs> yeah. they, they just have that ability to kind of like, mm -hmm. Wii Fit trainer can get it validated uh, by It's them. not an easy matchup for Wii Fit, yeah, yeah at yeah. all. Okay, we're gonna see Tilde. Vivi, probably not going to Cario.